That was in key. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's Corbin. I'm Buddy. You are not. And you can follow us on Instagram. Do you ever just punch your left tit? Yep, on purpose. Yeah, feels good. It does. Makes me know that I'm alive. It's true. Not the right one. It's gotta be the left boob. Anyways, today we're doing a movie review. Welcome back to Classic Month. It's yep. Classic Month, where all the movies are at Classic Month. Uh, and we watched the, what year is it? 1971. 1971. No, nine. <laughs> Let's go try though. No, what? the last one was 71. No, the last one was 51. The one before that. I don't know. <laughs> Can't take it. Huh? Awara? It doesn't matter. Awara was 1951. Your mom was 1951. Anyways, this is directed by, uh, we watched Golmal, or it translates apparently to English as Hanky Panky. Is that the Elvis song? My baby loves a Hanky Panky. I don't think Elvis sang that. Who sang that? My baby loves or Does the Hanky Panky. Does the Hanky Panky. Does the Hanky Panky. That might have been Jerry Lee Lewis. Was it Jerry? Yeah. I thought it was it's not Elvis. Elvis. Oh, anyways. Uh, Elvis never did the Hanky Panky. Also, nope. Does hanky panky mean the same? I feel like hanky panky here is sex, right? It is, right? <laughs> hanky panky here is sex. <laughs> and speaking of Elvis and his sex life, <laughs> I do believe it was Rita Moreno who slept and told. She was on The Tonight Show mm -hmm. and said that she slept with both Elvis and Marlon Brando mm -hmm. and did not hesitate to say that Brando was better in bed. <laughs> <laughs> And she said, like, not, like, by a long shot. She said, no offense, Elvis was fine, but Brando. <laughs> Brando was godlike. Uh, Actors are better than the uh, singers, I guess. Elvis was an actor. Did so many great films. He did. He wanted to be a really, he wanted to be a very well-respected actor. Anyways, this was directed by... Elvis uh, Presley. Say his name for me, please. I, I just did. No. That's oh, the real name. director. Uh... Rishikesh Mukherjee. The last name might be a little difficult for Rishikesh. It is hard for me to pronounce. Ah, uh, but we saw his directing in Anand. Pardon me, I'm having my lunch. Uh, that's when uh, we mm -hmm. saw him, and this was produced by him, and it's starring uh, Amol Pelikar. Thank you. Uh, say these names for me. Bindiya Goswami, Devan Verma, and uh, Shubakot, Where is Mangu the, Singh, where's, or Manju. Where's, what's his face? From hmm. The Stranger. Oh, yeah, where is he? Okay, he's basically the main character. Is this, no. What's his name? The main guy. Our, 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 the, the Stranger, the lead actor, Thespian. Dot? Ah, thank you. There he is. Okay. There he is. He, he didn't have the right picture on there. No. Um, but like, what, yeah. in fact, what is that picture? I don't even know. It's of Marlon Brando. It must be one of his old black and Having white films. Having sex with Elvis. Weird, weird thumbnail. Anyways, but yes, this uh, is a, a review of the 1979 film uh, Golmal, uh, and it'll be a 100% spoiler review. If you haven't yep. watched it, go we watch it. We, saw, yeah, we have the DVD of it, actually. So yep, which I, DVD oh, it. did I bring it in? Yeah, there it is. I brought it back. Um, anyways, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. I don't have a paragraph, but don't let that concern you, fans of Hanky Panky. <laughs> Does anybody uh, actually call it Hanky Panky? I want to know. Yeah, there's another, I saw another translation for it that's different. It's like mischief. It's not mischief, though. The confusion but, would be... Yeah, it, it's... Um, I mean, the, the, the theme song is... Ba <laughs> yeah. So, uh, as my basic synopsis for this is, it's not, you know, we, we've had this string of classics that were like award-worthy yeah. kinds of classics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And while I thought for a moment this might go in the Pedosan lane, it doesn't. It's just a simple, silly comedy that when all was said and done, I'm, I'm glad I watched. If it was on again, I'd watch it. Um, it didn't have anything superlative to me artistically, but the story was campy and fun enough to keep me engaged. And I thought everybody's performances were comedically enough to be enjoyable. It wasn't roll on the floor funny, but ultimately I liked it. Yeah, I did as well, yeah. uh, and it, I, I think it fell into the same kind of thing, because obviously you never know where to go in, especially with these classic comedies. Yeah. Am, are we going to go Pedosin, which is obviously Omar the, Anthony. Yeah, the silly, stupid, just balls to the wall. I feel like, and also, this is probably way funnier to people that speak Hindi. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sure there was a ton lost in translation. Like, obviously, we were reading in subtitles. And if it's, like, dialogue, we've talked about this all the time. If it's dialogue comedy. If it's wordplay. If play, it's wordy, we're probably not going to get it. Yep. And uh, <laughs> so that's, yeah, I'm sure you all know that, but that is, a, that's why it wasn't, if you think this is, like, a screaming, laugh out, laugh out loud funny it, wasn't it, it didn't translate that in the yeah. uh, subtitles. Although, no. I think it was like a, a nice kind of almost, I don't want to call it drama, but a nice drama-ish story that had sprinkles of comedy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it felt like more to me. Yeah. It, uh, except a, the last 20 minutes. That got a little more That got a little crazy. Uh, which well, was fun. And it, it, with, you know, with the movie title like Hanky Panky and a very silly, you know, photo of it, you're anticipating it to be... And it's not dry, like, that's one thing I don't expect is it to be British dry humor. It's no. never going to go that route. But It was more like the situations were kind of funny and the... Kind of funny. Yeah, yeah there wasn't funny. anything roll on the... F I, there wasn't the anything The funniest part was the last funny. 20 minutes, I feel. Yes. Like when they actually got to like... The, the climax. Yeah, the climax. Where everything's getting each found out. Each other. Yeah. He, like, they're, they're, He's climbing they're, on the thing, she's, she's hitting him with the pole. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's where you start to laugh. Or... I'm gonna talk about Chuck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which I was totally shocked. I was too. He, I was like, is that, that's actually, that's really I'm gonna talk about Yeah, being it's, himself. That was really fun. Or also, I think the, the best part is the guy that we saw in The Stranger. Oh, yeah. Utpal Dot. Utpal Dot. I think he um, <laughs> is a very talented actor because he was obviously, if you haven't watched our review of the Bengali, I don't know the actual title um, in, in, in Bengali. Uh, uh, Agunduk, yeah. which is The Stranger, uh, which we loved. Loved that film, loved Love him that in it. Film. It shows how much of his range he has, because I thought he was obviously really strong in this, but in a much more comedic role. And he had probably the most over-the-top style of acting in the film. Everybody yeah. else was probably a little more uh, laid back. And I don't know if it was his choice or the director's choice, and it might have been because everyone else was a bit more grounded, mm -hmm. but I, I could tell... It would have been really easy to pull a vaudeville kind of slapsticky humor with every role, but especially his role. Mm -hmm. It could have been really ridiculous, and it and it it wasn't. And I think that lended to a balance. I felt like the whole cast was really balanced. There wasn't yeah. anybody that was off kilter, no. and there wasn't anybody that was too understated. I thought the balance in the cast was was, I, was pretty. I read good. That basically the whole thing that the director wanted to do was kind of. Poke, uh, obviously, he wanted to try his hand at comedy. Yeah. But wanted to poke, poke hand, uh, uh, poke fun at um, the Aristocat Society, obviously, the older uh, generation. Uh, well, he did a good job. Yeah, that was the goal. Obviously, did a good job. Like, obviously, our character, Utbal Dut, uh, was obviously the most kind of quirky at yep. times. He was very stuck on his laurel, uh, it, on his principles. Yeah, and it's and not. And I thought he had some of like, the, the funniest lines. Like when after he interviewed, he was like, now that's honoring your mother or something. Yeah, like yeah. Like a bunch of uh, ridiculous lines like that. I thought he was my favorite uh, overall part of it, but he was also, I think, they lend it to the most comedy. I, I think one of the things that probably made it even more funny at the time was because this whole mistaken identity, I'm going to be somebody I'm not and I hope I don't get, get caught, has been done in a lot of different ways in a lot of different films, American and Indian, where people mm -hmm. are having to do disguised identity and they don't want to be found out, especially in comedy. And I have a feeling based on Indian cinema, I don't know this historically, but I would sense this was very uh, unique in terms of the story and it was very surprising in a mm -hmm. lot of ways. Mm -hmm. So that for the audience, this would have been not, and I don't want to say rehashed because this, I feel this uh, concept wor has worked through time in memoriam, mm -hmm. but I think we've seen enough of it that we don't have the benefit of the doubt. This is again, don't judge a classic by the contemporary standards of the day. Mm -hmm. It, 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 I bet it was a lot sharper and quicker in the comedy, yeah. both with the language difference that they would understand with the original oh, yeah. Hindi, but also, I think, given what storytelling was at that time. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, but I thought that it, even though it was one of the shorter ones, obviously, since it's a comedy, it, you know, and for comedies to not feel long, you've got to be laughing all the time and right. all that kind of stuff. And the subs, I wasn't laughing all the time. No, no. And, cause I, and I don't feel like it was, like I said, the Pedosan style of slapstick until the very end obviously got three stooges almost yeah. at, there at the end um but like if you're not it, it can drag a little bit yeah and so obviously i think it could have benefited from being like an hour and a half as opposed to 220 uh, yeah i get it it's a classic i once when i was the runtime of films <laughs> it's the, the runtime um but i feel like obviously the, the film did drag a little bit it did. because it, maybe because i just wasn't laughing maybe Me everybody too. else probably would have been I laughing had that, with I, 
when I hit the interval, I had the conscious thought at that point. I was like, it's, it's slow and I'm just, there's nothing uproariously funny at all. I hadn't laughed out loud once, but uh, also it's not the same thing that when we watched that Akshay film, that was like the, the bull, 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 yeah. which I feel was just a bad film. Right. And like everything was bad acting. Every, right. Like, just everything. That's not how I felt about this. No, that's it's not. Very I actually felt this was like almost like a good film. It's just, I didn't laugh as much as I thought I was going to be exactly. laughing. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the thing was at, at the interval, I hadn't been laughing as much as I thought I would. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want that to be the barometer by which I measured the film. Mm -hmm. And so I just let it be and went, okay, so I'm not laughing. And I know it's three hours. It's going to feel long because I'm not laughing. Mm -hmm. And then throughout the second half, it just, I went from at interval, if that was the film at that point, I probably would have said, you know what? I didn't really like it that much. It, it just kind of yeah. felt... It continued to grow on me. So by the time we hit the last act, I was well, like, I you know what? It, I think I really like the movie. I think it movie. helps that the last act was the funniest part yeah, of the film. It ends like, strong. Right when, obviously, he finds out the mustache is a fake. <laughs> it kind of goes into high gear. High gear. High gear. Like, and it doesn't stop the rest of the film. Hijinks uh, is the word that would yeah. be used. So, like, obviously, I think that, that lends itself to, like, oh, I, I, that, was, that was good. Nice. Yeah, the, <laughs> because I laughed at the end. And I the, laughed at the, the last 25 the, minutes. The thing that kept me connected was the uniformity of the performances being mm -hmm. enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I was engaged enough with this, the uniqueness of this story. Mm -hmm. I, knew the, I knew we'd have a hijinks payoff at the end, and I wanted to see how they were going to wrap it up. Yeah. And based on what they had given us thus far, I thought, you've really got to have a major screw the pooch to mess this up. This is going to turn into a really good ending, so I'm going to stick out, stick it out. I'm glad I did. I, really, yeah. I ultimately really liked it. And it was it. wonderful seeing how, how versatile he can be. Yeah. He, he gave almost like a, a I think, a, is his name Virus in um, yes. Three Idiots? in Three Idiots. Um, much funnier than Virus. Uh, maybe I can watch Three Idiots again and then. Maybe appreciate him, but I don't know. I didn't. But really it was know. it was as different a character for him that I think if I didn't know going in that he he Wouldn't was it the same crazy actor. To see this first. It, that's exactly what I was just going to yeah. say. If I had seen this first and then seen that, I don't know that I would have realized it was the same man. Yeah. Because um, you can see his chops that he can do everything, and then also our our lead who's playing the two. The mm. <laughs> I also love that the twin I'm, concept I'm, just never stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of just it built on itself. And there, there were funny parts, obviously. Like, obviously, every time it built and it built and it built. When I thought one of the funniest moments, for some reason, was when he saw the, the girl that was supposed to be his mom. Right. And, he, and she was swinging. Yes. <laughs> and he kept trying to yes. sit down and then he couldn't. He couldn't and it was do like, it. Were, it was just really, that part was like really funny to me. Yeah. Because uh, obviously, that's just dumb humor that I. I understand, and yeah. so I, I, I really enjoyed those little parts. I thought the whole Amitak Bakshan thing was so fun. And I was I hoping he was going to come back. Yeah, I know, me in, too. In the end, in me like too. just some joking way. I just I thought that was that was that was really really funny. I did enjoy the music. The I common too. theme of the Gold Mal Hey, Gold Mal Hey. It's it's really good, and it kind yep. of carries the film through, and it kind of gives you like this is going to be like just confusing. Ride yeah. That you're I, on. From the, the very beginning, when the guys are sitting just around on the floor and they're singing to each other and doing their thing, um, I, I do believe this, like probably most classics, is that for you to really, for a non-Indian, mm -hmm. for an American to really enjoy the classics to the utmost, I think you need to have had some exposure to Indian cinema first mm -hmm. and Indian culture. Because mm -hmm. there's things now that we can pick up on that we know about, like how funny it is that he used the lipstick instead of, you know, you don't realize that's funny if you don't understand culturally and have seen that depicted now multiple, multiple times. And so just from the very beginning, there's this endearing quality to just watching these guys sitting and talking and singing and doing the mannerisms that they do. You're like, yeah, I'm going to probably enjoy the movie. Uh, and yeah, that's why I'm, I didn't have a paragraph because usually if I write a paragraph, it has to do with elevative artistry. And while this didn't have anything particularly elevated in terms of artistic excellence, I didn't see anything blaringly bad. And though I didn't laugh hysterically, I thought this was this was original enough. I can see why they've made remakes. Oh, uh, there's been remakes. plenty of remakes and things have been inspired by it. Yeah. And I think historically, I bet if we did a really deep dive into the history of Indian cinema at this time and saw the history of comedy, we'd recognize that this was 
quite different for the day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, oh, I did read, I don't know if you read this, this was actually filmed for in 40 days in his apartment. No, I knew it was filmed in Mumbai, but I did not know it was filmed in his apartment. Or loft or whatever. Yeah, whatever no, I didn't lived. know yeah, that. Yeah, he lose his own. It That's was his crazy. place for in 40 days. Did uh, he convert his loft into the office space as well, or was I that a different know. location? I don't know. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Because I, I love, I also love, there's a very sweet, small, like, moral to the, thor- to the story. And I don't think that was the intention of the film to have a full moral to the story. I think it's just entertaining. But our, our main antagonist, our Mr. Dot, uh, he gets to the, pl- the place later on where they say, you know, you think that only the guys with the mustaches are the good people, but did you realize that, like, John F. Kennedy doesn't have a mustache, but Hitler's got a mustache. He's like, oh, you know what? You may be right. <laughs> so he does come to this place of realizing, you know what? Maybe I was wrong. And in the end, he shaves off his mustache. Yeah, he, I, <laughs> and yeah he doesn't have his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> the last 25 minutes is great. Yeah, I, I it's really, worth the yeah, payoff. I, I really enjoy the last 25 minutes. It's just, I guess, if I was telling somebody about this film, I, I would say, if they're an American, yeah. like, and they, they don't speak Hindi, right? I would be like... And don't know Indian culture. It's just going to be a, a, a nice, enjoyable time pass. Yeah, I, I, that's which it. Is probably how I would describe that's it. That's it. Um, and you probably laugh some, but it's not going to be like a hysterical rolling on the a ground funny. The, no. Except the, maybe the end is real, real nice. But no, because like for all of the flaws that I, I, for all the things I don't like about like say Amar Akbar Anthony, mm. I laugh more mm. in that than I did in this. Yeah. That's yeah. a more dumb, dumb balls dumb, to the wall. Yeah, ridiculous. Uh, this is like more, it's, it's, it's very interesting, this comedy. And I, I bet, think. I bet there's a lot more tongue in cheek if we, if we understood Hindi. Oh yeah. Yeah. And obviously, if we, we like are we're part of the culture, there's probably yeah. those jokes that went over our head. Yep. That's one of the risky run with comedies, uh, which is why sometimes when people are like, Always. oh, do a comedy every culture, line, I'm like, every culture. That's hard. If it's like if it's like Padosin, or if it's like for me Amir Akbar Anthony, or if it's like so the stuff that I can get, that's just like, oh, you got hit in the head. That's funny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he yeah. got hit in the balls. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, but if it's like wordy, that, that's where you can run into some. Problems, yeah, um, and that doesn't mean it's going to be for everyone. Um, but yeah, I think it's a, a a nice, especially part of Bollywood history. Yeah, for 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 this time and for him as well as a director, because I know he's a renowned renowned director. Yeah, as surely is You're her father, right? Yeah, and well, everybody, they're all related. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, they are. If you want to know if someone's Bengali, you just see if there's a G at the end, and it's they're Mukherjee, Banerjee, Chatterjee. That's the standard. Do you know my wife has Bengali? I mean, it doesn't mean that you have to have a G at the end to be a Bengali. Though that's true, though. My wife is does have Bengali. What? In her blood. What? No. She, uh, her dad did a DNA test. Seriously? It's like, like, it's like less than a percent, like less than a one percent, but that essentially means that one of her family was probably British Somewhere, somewhere was, and yeah. did probably something bad. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just the reality, the, like the, the conclusion we've come to. Yeah. That's probably what happened. Yeah, She's yeah, like, yeah. I'd like to think it was the forbidden love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was like, it probably yeah, no, wasn't. probably wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, they, they did. They, they Interesting. Did, says, like less than a percentage of Bengali in wow. our blood. <laughs> Family. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed that review. Uh, let us know what you thought about the film. What should be the next comedy? What should be the next classic? Uh, and I would love to see everything this man has done. Uto, yeah. Utpal, dot. I think he's a fantastic and, and, actor. And I know a lot of people say, may have wanted us to talk more about the other actors in, in the film. They, they all were fine. They I don't think good. anybody was exemplary. Ex- outside of he was the standout for me. Me too. Um, and everybody so, else did good. Yep, they did good. Uh, and so that, that is what I came but I'm not gonna, I can't rave about anybody else except for right. him. I thought he was the most standout performance Agreed. in the entire film. Agreed. Um, but let us know what's the next classic, what should be the next comedy that we should watch down below. <laughs>